All right, let's dive into this fascinating and rather nuanced topic, shall we? When we talk about delusional people, we're essentially discussing individuals who hold steadfastly to beliefs that are clearly false or cannot be supported by reality, despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. Now, these aren't just your everyday misconceptions or misunderstandings, mind you. We're talking about deeply ingrained beliefs that significantly impact their lives and the lives of those around them. First off, let's get a grip on what delusions actually are. They can range from the relatively benign to the utterly bizarre. For instance, someone might have a delusion of grandeur, believing they're a world-renowned celebrity when, in fact, they're not. Or they might have paranoid delusions, convinced that the government is spying on them through their microwave. These beliefs are often unshakable, no matter how much logical reasoning or evidence is presented. Now, what's going on in the mind of someone experiencing these delusions? Well, it's a bit of a complex stew of factors, really. It can be linked to neurological and psychological conditions, such as schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, or severe depression. There's also a fascinating interplay of genetics, brain chemistry, and environmental stressors at work. For instance, an imbalance in neurotransmitters like dopamine can lead to the brain misinterpreting sensory information, which can fuel delusional thinking. Let's take schizophrenia as an example. This condition is often characterized by delusions, hallucinations, and disordered thinking. Imagine hearing voices that aren't there or believing that strangers on the street are talking about you. It's not just unsettling, it can be downright terrifying. These experiences can make it incredibly difficult to function day to day, maintain relationships, or hold down a job. Delusions don't just affect the person experiencing them, they ripple out and touch everyone around them. Family members often feel helpless, confused or frustrated. Take, for example, a parent who believes their child is being controlled by an external force. This can lead to mistrust and strained relationships within the family unit. Friends might distance themselves, unsure how to respond or support their delusional mate, leading to social isolation for the person affected. On a broader societal level, delusions can have serious implications. For instance, consider the case of someone with a delusional disorder who believes they're being persecuted by a particular group. This could lead to confrontations, legal issues or even violence, not to mention the strain on public resources like law enforcement and healthcare systems. Moreover, there's the stigma attached to mental health conditions which can perpetuate misunderstanding and discrimination. This stigma can make it even harder for individuals to seek help and get the support they need. But it's not all doom and gloom, I promise. With the right combination of therapies and medications, many people with delusional disorders can lead fulfilling lives. Cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT for instance, can help individuals challenge and reframe their delusional beliefs. Medications like antipsychotics can help balance those pesky neurotransmitters. Support groups and family therapy can also play a crucial role in helping both the individual and their loved ones navigate the complexities of the condition. In a nutshell, delusional thinking is a multifaceted issue that intertwines mental health with personal and societal well-being. It requires a compassionate, informed approach to support those affected and mitigate the broader impacts. So next time you hear someone talking about delusions, you'll have a deeper understanding of the psychological underpinnings and the far-reaching effects they can have. Cheerio for now, and remember, a little empathy goes a long way.